Hi people, so what we have here? We have here a moving head wash. And this particular brand, if you can see it, is called U-King. So it's a U-King mini LED moving head. So it's a wash. Now the thing about this particular one, this particular wash, is that I've seen this, <coughs> excuse me, under different brands, particularly Stag. Now this light cost 48 English pounds delivered to my door within three days. And there's not much you can get as far as lighting is concerned for 48 English pounds. And this is just to wash. And it has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It has seven LEDs and they're 10 watts each. They're RGB and white. So that's red, green, blue and white. And they're 10 watts each. So the literature and all the blur about it and the marketing is about 70 watts, 70 watts. Well, it's not true 70 watts. There's 10 watts per LED, but it is RGB and white. It is all plastic and it is from China. But then again, all the products come from China, but this is uh, particularly uh, direct from China, but through a UK uh, distribution center, hence it only took three days. So, what do you get with it? You get a bracket and you get obviously a couple of screws. So I'm trying to hold the camera at the same time. A couple of screws. That's metal. You also get this interest in remote controls. If I can just get it a different way for you. Let's put this down. The thing that's interesting about this remote control, and I've had remote controls before, this does quite a lot actually. So you've got here Auto 1, Auto 2, Auto 3. Now Auto 1 you select Auto 1, that's, and then with that, you can actually select the different colours. And we'll do that in a minute. So on Auto 1, if you want to flood the room with blue, you press blue, or I think that's probably purple. I don't know why you would use yellow, but anyway. Or even if you want a spotlight type effect, there's white. So Auto 1, you select a colour. Auto 2, up here, is fast, so it's a fast program. Auto 3 is a slower program, so I would say early doors. If you like the program, you can save it. You can do strobing, you can switch it off or on. You can also adjust if you want the tan, pan and tilt. If you want a static color of all merged, then there's the RGB or there's the white. Sometimes when I've had these remote controls, especially my American DJ ones, you can't really do a lot with it because it's a universal remote control for different lights. But this one actually does quite a lot. The green button's manual. So if you want to set the light manually, then you just go to the green and it will go to manual settings. This is the instruction book. Now I've written on it already for myself. It's the biggest instruction book in the world. Look at that. Now, if you can see that, on the left is English stuff. And on the right is a Chinese menu, so it's wong tong soup, spring rolls, etc. Who knows what it says? But it just tells you basically what the settings are. So if you go on Auto 1, it's running the mode and you just select the colour, as I've mentioned. Auto 3 is a slow running. And then 7, you can set the tilt. Music 1 and 2, that's sound. One is more sensitive than the other. That makes sense. I so it's the biggest instruction book you're going to find, and here it is. If you can see that. So on the left hand side, again, is the settings. On the right hand side, that's the menu. And on the left, on the bottom here, is all about your DMXing. And it's channel 14 or 19. So it's channel 14 or 19 for DMXing. And there's your DMX bits. I don't get involved in DMX if you know. And there's a the rest. So, it's quite a sophisticated instruction book. <laughs> I had to look at it a couple of times to understand that side, which is very similar to all the other lights, really. That's if you want to really do it manually. So, yeah, that's the light. So, but it's, it's all plastic you make, but I said, I have seen this, I was looking around and I've seen this, I've seen Stag, Stag do one identical to this for £130, 
Well, this was, 100 and this was 48, so you got two. I got two for less than 100, delivered to my door in three days. So, shall we take a look? I've just switched it on, and what it's doing, it's doing its thing. It's going to its reset mode, as all moving heads tend to, and I can then get the remote control, and let's say I want program one. And I've just changed the colour to red or blue or what I believe is purple or could be pink. <laughs> if I want to go off that and if I just turn my book over because I just went right so program auto free if I go to auto free it says here slow so that's a slow slow mode, so it's just panning around. If I go to Auto 2, it says fast. So it's a little bit faster. If I go to Music 1, it's on sound. If I go to Music 2, if I press Music 2 on remote, just picking up the noise from the machine itself and doing its thing. I would actually leave it on auto free rather than that one myself because I think it's more or less the same thing. So I can change the colour on auto one. So I go auto one, I can check. So, so if someone says I want my room green, yeah Christmas green, there we go. Or particularly Bryce says well, I think I want a pinky purpley type of thing, there we go. So the menu button, I think we're all familiar with the menu buttons. You suppress the menus, you go up and down and select. I think we're all familiar with that particular, it's in red. And obviously with the manual, you'll know which to select. Now, I'm going to step back a bit. This costs 48 English pounds. As I said, it's under a, a brand called U King. The distribution centre is here in the UK. Um, that's all that comes with it. The remote, instructions and the bracket and two screws. The boxes are just a brown plain box, nothing sophisticated about the box. Now to me, I had this idea of just doing something different to what I had been before. And I thought, to be honest with you, 48 pounds or two for less than 100. Well, if it lasts me all the way through Christmas and stuff, then I'll be happy. If it lasts longer than that, then it's great. A lot of negative stuff about Chinese brands around, if you look. Um, the 13 amp plug that came with it is moulded, it's not like a do it's all properly moulded. Um, it is plasticky though, if you understand what I mean by that. I'm just going to switch this off for a minute and you press this off. At the back, these are just red dots for me, so I know this is the master. So you know when you're trying to set up, you're in a rush, you're trying to sort things out. Well I know straight away this is the master. It's a very sophisticated system I have for that. So I've got mains in, and I've got 3-pin DMX in, and 3-pin DMX, DMX out. What I've noticed when I put my plugs in here, they're a bit tight, because it's plastic and not metal. Again, that's just switched off. So 13 amp in, 3-pin in, DMX 3-pin, DMX 3-pin in and out. And that's really all there is. I didn't want this. That's too sophisticated light, that wasn't my idea. You can get this light with gobos, as well as. Now, I didn't want to do that, I just purely wanted a wash. But again, I repeat, for 48 English pounds, on the face of it, and I've played around with it for a bit, I've had it for about a week, I'm not taking it out on the road yet, it seems okay, I mean, I can't say more than that. The proof will be in the pudding, you know, a few gigs down the road, and see what it's like. So everything's plastic except for the, the bracket that's metal. These are metal and the screws are underneath. So the screws are underneath to put the bracket. You can see there's a fan there as well. They're metal, they're brass. I'm not too sure what that screw's there for. It must be for another fitting, but it's these two screws here. 
I just get the bracket. Sorry, sorry guys, I'm trying to hold. So you just get the bracket and stick them in there, and that's the way you go. But I said it is a pla it is all plastic. It's Chinese, but I've got American DJ equipment, which is Chinese as well. But I repeat, this is as I just done that. You can see it's called a U King Mini LED Moving Head. It's marketed as 70 watt light. It's not 70 watts truly. Just to repeat, just, just to repeat, just turn this around a bit. I'm not quite doing that actually. Um, there's seven LEDs given 10 watts each. The LEDs are RGB and white. So if you wanted white as a spotlight to just go around the room, you can do that. What I've noticed, uh, because you're going to see a, uh, a demonstration of these working, that the tilt, which is this, doesn't tilt far enough, this is, it doesn't feel tilt far enough, say to wash a floor. So if I wanted to wash the floor, this, they don't tilt far enough. They spin all the way around and they go up, but they don't come down. I've tried manually adjusting the tilt um, and it just doesn't go down far enough. I don't even think with DMX you could because that's as low as it will go. And you can see there's quite a distance there. But Again, I'm going to reiterate, it's 48 English pounds. Uh, I wanted it to wash a room while it's early doors and even when it's uh, going full belt. So, I repeat again, I'll just go back to the label. I don't mind turning it's like that, there we go. It's called a U King, this particular one is called U King. <clears throat> As I said, I've seen this identical light. Okay, it's got a few. The case has got a few. Oops, I'm trying to hold the camera and do this at the same time. Um, I've seen an identical light under different brands, but the biggest brand I've seen was Stag, and it was 129 pounds. Now these are 48. I've got two for less than 100 within three days delivered to my door. And if you look around, they look identical, and the specs are identical. And again, if they last uh, all the way through, which means September now, for an, all the way through the year, three months, then you know I think it would pay for itself. But I uh, said so the proofs are going to put in. Um, go out, see how many times, five hours, how many five-hour gigs they do last for. I'm hoping that they can last for a while. Yeah. So if you're looking for a, 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 an inexpensive way to do a bit of a wash. But it won't wash the floor, that's what I found out, unfortunately. You know, do the ceiling, do the sidewalls, etc. But they won't go, the tilt won't come down far enough. And I don't think even with DMX in you can get the tilt because I tried, you can see from there, that's the lowest. The tilt will go, the tilt will not go any lower than that. But I said you get the same light, you can do the same light, but also with gobos as well. But that wasn't what I wanted to do. I didn't want to spend a lot of money to find out something wasn't working to our fault. And for 40, 48 pounds, well really that's a, that's a meal, isn't it? A meal out for two. Um, and like I said, we've got a busy period now, September. I'm booked up right through Christmas, so I'll try these out. Hopefully, I will, I will take these out on Saturday and on the gig in real life and see what it's like. Um, but yeah, that's, so that's the U King Mini LED Moving Head. Obviously, it's a, the brand is just a brand. It's a non-branded, and people get them in the stick their own brands on. I said, but I was, I looked, and Stag do one exactly the same, but for 129. Now, whether or not Stag and ADJ etc. have better quality control, hence the prices go up. I, I presume that's what it's all about. And then you'll see a video of working. I know you can't see very well because it's a bit bright in here because it's daylight, it's only 12 o'clock so it's a bit bright. So I'm hoping this is going to replace my camp party bar twos on the smaller venues but obviously for bigger venues it doesn't really matter because I've got the width. But So I'll put the U-Kings on top to do its thing and and I've got some LEDJ T-Pix T-P-I-X battens. Now the battens are running on um, just the programs. There's no um, um, sound to light. It's just uh, 
different programs or a program mix, and that's a program mix. Um, you can DMX them, um, and you can also put net, something called net, where you can actually put graphics or stuff on it. Um, but I'm not going to use it that way. Uh, they're just on Gorilla speaker stands with a clamp, and I've got an adapter on top of the speaker stand to put the U-King moving heads, which just flood in. So in the middle would be my normal stand, and possibly T-bar with uh, some lights on it, depending how big the venue is. So the LEDJ battens, TPX, TPIX, TPX are on um, program mix. That's a mixture of its different programs. There's no sound to light. They also do panels, square panels, but uh, I couldn't couldn't see them on. So when I saw these battens, I thought, well, if I get rid of my Cam Party Bar 2s, which I've had for a long time. Now, these battens let, give off a lot of light. They're open right now. You can get a Perspex cover, which is white, to cover them. Weren't too sure if that dampened it down or not, but... Um... So that was my idea. Well, it is my idea, because I've got rid of the... Uh... <laughs> Can buy bar twos, and obviously I've got these now. The cables, there's uh, four mains, two cables from each unit, and obviously DMX cables. So I've got to figure that out when you're on the road itself. Uh, the battens can hide a lot of cable behind it because they're they're long. So if there's limited space or something, then I'll, this is what I'm going to use even one maybe if it's that small um, if I can got the space and it's a bigger kit I've got out then I can still use these anyway I'm hope obviously this will be out Saturday I've got a gig on Saturday and I'll christen these I've got to try and figure out something about the cables anyway I'm not too sure if I'm going to take my T-bar stand uh, on Saturday because I'm not sure how big the venue is, I know where it is. Or I may just take these and put uh, my Mervyn DJ Stinger 2 on the floor like I've done a few times. But these LEDJ battens, they really give out a lot of light. I'm not doing review on them today, I'm just doing the U15s or the U-King 15s. My plan is, is during early doors not to have the battens on, just to have the uh, the washes doing its thing, and later when it kicks off, then put the battens on. So that's that button is on slave. That's the master, slave master. We can have a look if you take a look at these at the back because it's quite sophisticated. These uh, these lights. I'm underusing these lights completely. Underusing them, but um, we've got a three pin and a five pin DMX connections. So that's how professional they are. It's got an RJ45 output. That's for Artnet or Kingsnet. I believe it's um, some software that you can put in here with an adapter or something. And on the front, you can have graphics. I don't think the video screens, because uh, I think the the, pic, the the LEDs on these are probably too close together. But you can probably do some graph, uh, some uh, uh, writing. So it's an RJ45 for Artnet or Kingsnet. Um, these brackets here are for if you want to put more than one together. They slide up and down so you can fit two or more. And the bracket here. That holds it onto the got the clamp on here. This bracket actually moves. I don't think you can see it. This bracket actually moves up and down. So if you can't fit it to this point, for instance, on some gantry, you can actually move this bracket up and down so it avoids any gantry. And obviously at the bottom here, I've got my power power con in, my LED display, and three and five DMX connectors. In. Now these red spots here are mine. This tells me that this is the master. 
How sophisticated is that? So I've got an adapter here, it goes on the speaker stand. Obviously where I've got the bracket. And on the back here, I've just got the mains out, DMX out. Again, these red dots I'm putting here, so when I take it out, I know it's the master. So I've got a lot of cable going on. I've got a lot of stuff going on here with cables. I've got to figure that out. And so this is the other one. This is the slave. Palcon. Now what I under, what I learned was the blue Palcon in is a different size to the white or grey Palcon out. They are not the same size. Because I had a cable made up without even knowing about the different sizes and obviously didn't fit. What I wanted to do was use this outlet to feed this light. That's what I wanted to do. So I'd have a, a mains cable going from here as an outlet to feed this, less cable. But then I realized actually I'm not having the baton on at the same in the early doors where this is working. So, so I've got uh, a DMX cable coming all the way to the other one and the mains cable. And this is a gorilla stand. So this is the LEDJ Type X button or Tip X button. It's got three and five DMX inputs and outputs. And it's got an RJ45 for the um, ArtNet or KingsNet, which I believe is to do with uh, some other stuff. I'm not getting involved in that. I'm not getting involved with DMX in, so I'm underusing it. But, the, but you can move these brackets here up and down, if you can see, so you can have them. You can uh, join them together. And then again, this bracket here, which I've got, sorry, down here, I've got a clamp. This bracket actually moves up, as you can see on these rods, or down. So if there's something in the way here, I can avoid it by moving up and down. So if you had a gantry, etc., and there's a bolt in the way, or a connector in the way, or a U-bend, or whatever they are, then you can move it up and down. Obviously, for me, it's straightforward. It's on a Gorilla speaker stand, as high as I can get it. If you have a look around my living room, actually, but uh, look at a picture of my kids, my dog. Well, it's gone now, the dog. Family crest. <laughs> so um, these give out quite a lot of light. You probably can't see it because it's daylight. I thought it was a slightly different look to what I've had before with the Camp Party Bar 2s. And I just had the idea of having those washes to do its thing without having the main lights on. And in addition, when the main lights are on. And so you can hear the fan going, but there's no noise in, this, in, the, in the house right now, no music going on. So there we go. I said these, these LED battens, LEDJ battens, a really sophisticated bit of kit, so I'm really underused them. Uh, particularly if you wanted to use the software to do uh, some letters. Uh, you can do video screens, but I believe the LEDs are too far apart. But they do panels where probably the, the video is probably better, but you can do graphics on it. I don't know how to work uh, vertically putting graphics, but if you've got the software and you've got the bits and pieces, I guess, it's all possible. But right now those buttons are just running on a, a program mix. There's no sound to light. And obviously if you DMX control do what you want, but I'm not got these for DMX. And as you've seen my video, I don't really do a lot of DMX apart from when I've got the American Pocket Pros out and my any any one. But I can't get more sophisticated than that. Yeah. So this was my plan anyway, uh, to put the washes on top of the speaker stand and wash the room. Now what I found out um, is that the tilt, doing it manually, uh, will not go all the way down, so it's hitting the floor. It may well be that on DMX you can tilt it. I went into the settings um, and I can't tilt it down, so it's on the floor, so, uh, so it's just spinning around. But the whole idea for me was just to do some floods instead of my cam party twos. Right now it's on one of the auto modes. I think it's fast auto. 
uh, which I went through before. You can set it manually, and I've got obviously one uh, one head is uh, reversed, as you can see the, cr the crisscrossing. And you see all the cables on the floor messing around. <laughs> it's daylight. There's no music or anything, it's just doing its thing on one of the auto settings. So that's auto setting. I just get the remote. Now, you've got to be pretty close to the unit actually for the remote. Um, so, what you do is I can. So, it doesn't show up. So nobody can see the LED display or anything. So I just switched it off for a minute. So when you switch it off, I'll see the standby one is uh, stays there. I just put it on the on the auto shows. If I put it on auto one, I can change the color. I don't know why you want that color, but put it on blue. And there's the other one that's a slave. Not sure what I could do about the cables just yet. There's an awful lot of cables going on here. Probably can hear the fan, can't you? <laughs> 